Yo, what is up all you credit repair hustlers? In today's video, we're going to go over exactly how you get a VA to help you out in your credit repair business. I mean, there's a lot to do. I'm not going to lie. There's a lot you need to be worrying about. You need to be worrying about all your extra clients. You need to be worrying about the marketing. You need to be worrying about handing out those dispute letters, stuff like that. I mean, all that stuff could realistically be subbed out to somebody else and you just pay them to do it. What I always tell my clients was I was actually on a meeting before is like, if you want to have a million dollar credit repair business, focus on the things that make you a million dollars. So like, to make a million dollars a year, you got to be making $500 an hour. So focus on the things that make you $500 an hour. That being said, like, if you are the one handwriting all the dispute letters, if you're the one doing all the cold outreach to people, I mean, it's just, it takes up too much of your time. Let me give you another example. Like I was, uh, I was working with this real estate agent a while ago. And he wanted to do really well. He wasn't doing really well, but mostly because he was focusing on the petty little things. Like, for example, he was outside and he was mowing his lawn. He's mowing his office's lawn where he does have employees, where he does have a pretty decent office. And why is he outside wasting time, valuable time where he could be actually making money, but he's mowing the office's lawn, hire somebody, pay them $15 an hour, $20 an hour. I don't know, pay him a little couple of bucks so you can focus on the things that actually make you a lot of money that being said the entire point of this video is why you need to hire a va well i gave you why how to hire a va and how you can do that actually today to hire a va whether it be to file dispute letters whether it be to do some marketing for you whether it be whatever the case okay whatever the case it is i use my vas a lot for my editing my thumbnails and my SEO because that's just like for me this is busy work. They just make a thumbnail for me, and I just okay it and they post it. They do the SEO for me. I mean it's already okay because you know I know what they want. They know what I want, and they do the tags for me, do the keywords for me, and then bam. Or if I need to when I'm doing my marketing stuff, I'm gonna need to transfer. Like for example, a couple of days ago we had this new client. He wanted his entire website transferred over to go high level, and so I have my VA, have my VA, pay him a couple bucks to switching over to go high level. Another example, I had a, I have a Spanish VA. What he did was one of my clients, one of my credit card clients, he has an English website, but we also wanted to hit the Spanish and Latino market. So what we did is we took the entire website, all the email campaigns, all the text message campaigns, and, and he translated all into Spanish for me. And the best part about this is you can find a VA for $3 an hour. $3 an hour, isn't that crazy? Like for example, like people in the Philippines, where the minimum wage is literally $3 an hour. So why aren't you using that? It's just like easy. It's just like a no brainer right there, right? So let's talk about this. There's two types of, your best options for VAs, there's two types here, okay? That I've seen that works the best. First, a cheap VA. Someone from overseas where the minimum wage, wage is $3 an hour, all right? Three slash hour min wage. Okay. Yeah, it's like usually in the Philippines, Netherlands, or Pakistan, places like that. Another one is an intern. So me personally, I live next to school. It's Wilk called Wilkes University over here. And I went in contact with Wilkes University and I asked them, hey, are there any interns looking for are there any interns looking for work especially videography work so what i did is i contacted the school just like i said and i found an intern for free and what she does is initially she was working for free strictly just for credits then now we started to pay her 10 to 15 dollars an hour i mean yeah it works especially when you're first starting up, you can definitely get an intern for free. Um, a lot of these colleges have business development centers, uh, like small business development centers. When you're just starting off, you go to them because they can get you connections with interns that literally work for free in exchange for a credit or two credits or three credits, whatever it is. That's what she was originally working for me for. And it was Emily, amazing, amazing girl. And she's smart, she's knowledgeable. And she used working, she worked her ass off. She was, she was editing videos for me. She was distributing my content among Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, things like that. And it's fantastic. Right now I'm about to hire another intern and he's gonna distribute all my content onto TikTok as well, which is an amazing, amazing thing. 
Now, that being said, there's these are two ones that I really recommend you check out. Uh, cheap VA, $3 an hour minimum wage, or the intern. So what I've seen is that the, with the cheap VA, actually, and don't get me wrong, interns work super hard, but a cheap VA, they, they work harder. Like, for example, I have one intern in the Philippines. Her name is Hannah, and she has kids. And so, obviously, why would she jeopardize her pay because she has kids? She works her ass off to get money from me to help feed her family. I'm supporting and feeding her family. So she would never want to F up. She would never want to. She would always work her hardest, from what I'm trying to say, so that she can feed her kids. She relies on me. So TVA is perfect for that. And what I usually like to do is with these people, what I've seen with VAs, with a CVA like this, is that they do want money. Okay, this is, pay attention to this. These VAs, they do want money. And it's, if you do it by the hour, it doesn't always work the best because they're going to take their time and they're going to be slow on jobs. So for example, I used to do a lot of contracting back then. And I would constantly, I would pay people by, by the hour, $20 an hour. And I would have to babysit them to make sure that they actually do the work. Otherwise, if they're not there, or I'm gone, or I'm paid on materials or something like that, they'll be on the phones texting and just BSing the job. So what I do recommend is a set of a $3 per hour minimum wage is I actually recommend a price per job. So a price slash job. Or they give you an estimate before they do it. So let's say... Hey, I want you to, tr I want you, I have, I put five videos up on my YouTube. I want you to the SEO, the thumbnails and the blah, blah, blah. And, I, and the keywords or something like that. Give them that. They give you a price. You, you okay. Or you say something a little cheaper. You always, trust me, you always go cheaper. Uh, but you can go cheaper. Negotiate. And that's the best way to do it. So that they do it on their time. And but when the job is actually done, then they get paid. So they want to impress you. So, so that they can, you can pay them more. You should give them a bonus. I usually very, I always always incentivize with the bonus. They either do a really good job building a website. They would do a really good job. This, this video gets a lot of views. Then I'll give them a bonus. Or if I, because this video I got, instead of one sale, I got two sales or three sales. I definitely give them a bonus. Things like that. Things that they want to work extra hard for just to impress you. And the beauty behind this, like I said, like if you're paying them, Initially, when you first meet somebody, you are going to have to pay up front. Uh, you have to do like usually a two parts is what I do when I'm first hiring a new intern and a new VA. You got to do a, 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 I do it initially. I pay only half in front, half at the end, just to prove that like, they can trust me. But make sure, though, also when you find new interns or when you find new VAs, that you do not give them such a big job at first. There's a lot of VAs on Upwork and Fiverr. I'm going to that later, Facebook, whatever. They not, they're not the best, okay? But once you find that very VA, like Hannah that I have, it's great because they rely on you and they want to impress you. I hired on my team while they have a bunch of guys that just that work for me and they want to impress me. And so they work the hardest and they can get paid more pretty much. So what I'm trying to say is when you find a new when you're finding a new VA, make sure that you do your research first of all, make sure you do reviews. Let me show you how to find a VA, actually. So let me share my screen really quick with you. Hey, y'all, I'm over here. It's my course over here I'm looking at. All right, so I was hopping over. I went on Facebook the other day, or today, and I just popped this up. Look at this. I need a VA who's an expert in G go high level. It's not that easy, um, especially on Facebook. So you go, so let's say you need an intern for go high level. Go and go high level, put a little post here, and I see on the comments, nine comments of a team of VAs, a team of VAs. Let's say you need a VA to do your thumbnails or do your video editing. Video editing. I spelled, I butchered that spelling. <laughs> right, hop over here, hop over to a group. Now what we're gonna do is, oh, look at that. Video editing jobs and 3D, 2D animation jobs. Join that group and put up a post there saying, hey, I need a VA to split up my media and post it on, uh, distribute my media onto multiple different accounts, copy and paste, cut and paste my, my content and just post it throughout all my social media accounts, something like that. Or another one, for example, it could be Upwork. 
Upwork, you can find plenty of VAs, post a job right there, and you can absolutely get a, a, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of people to, to go to your job or to submit a proposal for your job. But the thing is about, about Upwork and like Fiverr and things like that, I'm sure you guys know what Fiverr is too. The beauty behind Fiverr and Upwork is that you can see their, is that you can see their reviews, okay, and give them testimonials. But the thing is, you when you do pay them on Upwork or Fiverr, I think Fiverr and Upwork, they take out like a percentage, so you get paid a little bit less. And you got to be careful with that. Another thing is, on, um, but the thing about, so this is the trade-offs to both. Upwork and Fiverr, yeah, it takes out a little percentage. And whereas in a Facebook group, you can't really see their reviews and testimonials. I mean, yeah, maybe they have a website or something like that. A lot of them do, as I found. But it's, you don't really see, able to see that. So like I said, test them out. I'll give them a small job at first. See if they're good at that. See if they can do what they say they can do. And then give them bigger jobs, okay? Otherwise, if you give them a big job. Like I was talking to another client before, well, one of my clients I coach. And he was telling me how he got his VA, gave him his big job. Not really a big job. It was like a hundred bucks, something like that. And he butchered the job. And he wasted a hundred bucks. And he was pissed. I was like, bro, I told you, give him a small job at first. Instead of giving him five videos, give him one video to do. See if he can handle that. And then gradually give him more jobs until once he can earn their trust. With them. But guys, getting a VA is that simple, right? It's got to do a little posting. Honestly, like I said, I recommend Facebook is the best one because you can find dependent on niches and people will recommend other. VAs, right? People help you out. Upwork is another fantastic place to find VAs. Fiverr is a fantastic place to find VAs. For $3 an hour or get an intern from your school, look up a local school, find an intern, find somebody. If your school has, offers videography, hire an intern from there. Chances are they work for you for free and exchange your credits. Plus your local will be a little easier on you. So it all depends kind of on what you want and what you're searching for. Well, those are a couple of great ideas that you can check out to get a VA literally today. I guarantee if you post them on one of those Facebook groups, especially a Facebook group like this over here that has like, which was a 67,000 members, I guarantee if you post an application, a, a po post a form thing on there today, you would get like nine people hit you up tomorrow. So you can literally get a VA by tomorrow, okay? Or even an hour. You just check it out. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned at least one thing today. And I'll talk to y'all later. Peace out, guys.